Let's talk about reliability. Why should we trust relative humidity? Well, as seen in this next uh, schematic drawing, the finished floor system actually sees relative humidity. Um, when you look at a floor system, think about this. The concrete has been sitting there for some time. It may have been drying out. There's some amount of moisture in the slab and coming out. But as soon as the floor slab is covered, um, there is no longer any emission. By definition, you've capped the surface. And now the moisture within the slab is going to even itself out. This schematic drawing shows two different floor slabs. The one on the left-hand side has a lower moisture condition. Uh, and the one on the right-hand side has a higher moisture condition. Because there are floor coverings in place, you cannot measure moisture emission. But there are two moisture conditions. The right-hand system might actually fail because the moisture level is very high. You can go ahead and drill a hole and put a probe into the floor with the floor covering in place and see the true moisture picture in the concrete underneath the floor covering. And if you're investigating a floor covering failure, that's the way to get the true moisture picture after the floor covering or coating has been put in place. But there is no emission uh, by, uh, by the time that the floor covering is actually in place on the floor.